On page 66 of your cardiac disease interpretation book, we're going to talk about, uh, or rather I'm going to talk about first degree AV block. So in a first degree AV block, uh, we'll start with the beginning here. So heart rate may be slow, normal, or fast. It really may vary. P waves are typically present and upright and leads two, three, uh, one, two, and three. And the hallmark, the key here for interpreting first degree AV block is that the PR interval is greater than point, uh, Two zero second or 0.2 second, and the peer interval is consistent throughout. So if you look at um, this particular rhythm, uh, and here's a good one here because the P wave, uh, beginning of the P wave falls right on a dark line, right? So it falls right there, and then we have uh, 0.20 second right here, and the QRS begins about there. So this peer interval is actually about, uh, let's see, 0 0.2, 0 0.24, 0 0.28, almost um, 0 0.32 second. So that's quite prolonged. And you'll notice that the PR interval is consistently prolonged throughout. So it doesn't change throughout the entire uh, process. So that's um, a first degree AV block. The QRS is usually narrow, so less than 0 0.12 second. The ratio will be 1 to 1. And the rhythm will be regular. Now, first degree AV block is benign. And uh, you'll see this sometimes in patients, nothing to be alarmed about. Uh, the only time you need to be concerned is if you've got, not the first degree you block so much, but if the patient's bradycardic, that would be another issue. Or if they're tachycardic, that might be an issue. Um, but what is important is when you're monitoring a patient, if you're monitoring a patient who had a normal peer interval and, and you notice suddenly that their peer interval began to change right before your eyes as you're monitoring them, that would be serious. Uh, if you found them in a first degree AV block, it's benign. It's not nothing to be concerned about, nothing to be alarmed about. We just simply document it, and perhaps report it uh, to the triage, and um, we don't go beyond that.